Welcome back to Nurse Nikki's Coconut Cakes. Today, we're going to be talking about food temperature danger zones, and this is questions part one for the food safety manager test. What temperatures are classified as the danger zone? A, 20 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit, B, 41 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit, C, 136 to 145 degrees Fahrenheit, or D, all of the above. If you guessed B, 41 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit, you are correct. The danger zone is between 41 and 135 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the range where bacteria grow and thrive in. Your aim as a food safety manager is to avoid these temperature zones and monitor staff to make sure they do as well. What temperature range does bacteria grow more rapidly? A, 30 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, B, 55 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, C, 70 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit, D, both A and B. If you guess C, you are correct, 70 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. What is the minimal temperature hot food should be held at? A, 135 degrees Fahrenheit. B, 125 degrees Fahrenheit. C, 98 degrees Fahrenheit. D, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If you guessed A, you are correct, 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Above 135 degrees Fahrenheit and below 41 degrees Fahrenheit, bacteria grow more slowly and begin to die. Keep in mind, your refrigerator should keep products at or below 41 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius. How long can you store ready-to-eat TCS foods? A, no more than 7 days. B, no more than 14 days. C, no more than 5 days. D, no more than 21 days. If you guessed A, no more than seven days, you are right. From the day the product was prepared or the container was opened, that is what you go by when you're trying to calculate um, what day you should discard it, okay? What temperature should dry storage foods be held? A, 50 degrees. Fahrenheit, B, 10 degrees Fahrenheit, C, negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit, D, all of the above. If you guessed A, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, you are correct. Please note that dry storage foods need to be in a well-ventilated area with low humidity. So this could be a tricky one, guys. When you, after you cooked food and then you cool it down, you can reheat pasta, fish, poultry, stuffed meats to what temperature? 145 degrees Fahrenheit, which is A, B, 125, C, 165, D, 135 degrees Fahrenheit or greater. If you guess C, you are correct. You must reheat foods like pasta, fish, poultry, and stuffed meats to 165 degrees Fahrenheit or greater, and that has to be for a minimum of one second. Reheat ground fish, meat, injected meats, and eggs to A, 155 degrees Fahrenheit or greater, B, 145, C, 135, or D, 130 degrees Fahrenheit or greater. If you guessed A, you are correct, 155 degrees Fahrenheit or greater when it comes to reheating ground fish, meat, injected meats, and eggs. And that has to be held there for a minimum of 17 seconds. You want to reheat your meats and roast to A, 145 degrees Fahrenheit or greater, B, 130 degrees, C, 125 degrees, D, all of the above.
If you guessed A, 145 degrees Fahrenheit or greater, you are correct for a minimum of at least four seconds. What are recommended cooling methods? A, blast chiller. B, stir with ice paddle. C, ice water bath. D, all of the above. If you guess D, all of the above, you're correct. We now have a bonus answer. What are the four acceptable methods for thawing TCS foods? A, in microwave, if cooked immediately after thawing. B, as part of the cooking process. C, under cold running water at 70 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. D, at a temperature of 41 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. If you guessed A, B, C, and D, you're absolutely correct. Thank you for tuning in to Nurse Nikki's Coconut Cakes. This is Food Temperature Danger Zones Part 1. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comments below. And thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for Part 2.